Put your glasses up and begin to say this. Look, it's more than big chains, it's more than big watches, it's more than nice things. Yeah, it's more than big cribs, it's more than nice whips. We still want those things though. Let the good times roll, let the good times roll, let the real one show. Let the real one show, let the real one show, man, let's have it all. Let the good times roll, let the good times roll, let the real one show. Let the real one show, let the real one show, man, let's have it all. Let the good times roll, let the good times roll, let the real one show. Let the real one show, let the real one show, man, let's have it all. Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Chef MCM, and today I will be taking you on a journey uh, when I was stuck in Doha, Qatar for 18 hours, 18 hours straight. So I was connecting uh, from Washington, D.C. to uh, Cape Town, South Africa. And so I was stuck there for 18 hours. So what do you do when you're stuck in Qatar for 18 hours? start from the beginning so obviously like I said uh, my journey begins in Dallas International Airport or Dallas sorry Dallas International Airport in Washington DC 12 hour flight 12 hour non-stop flying to Doha uh, Qatar <laughs> beautiful city it's a beautiful country even more beautiful airport this airport was meant for you to be stuck there I'm telling you it was meant for you to be stuck here amazing um, what you call this a uh, lounges amazing lounges I've enjoyed I think one lounge there and um, some of the lounges are you know for the first class flying uh, fly first class and you know I'm not that rich Hopefully, I can get a sponsor one day and, you know, experience the first class. I think the, it ranges around $80 to $100 for, to, to get yourself into the lounge. And once you're in a lounge, you can have uh, wines, uh, food, you know, just this buffet there. You, mean you can help yourself um, as much as you can. And there's PlayStation, there's Xbox, there's um, showers in there. And, you know... So anyway, it's amazing, it's good, it's beautiful. But I was stuck for 18 hours. For, for 18 hours, what do you do in Qatar, Doha? Obviously, I walked around, I wanted to see the airport, beautiful airport. They have an indoor garden. That's just, that was just mind-blowing. An indoor, and I think it was my first, my first time seeing an indoor um, garden. I've never seen it before, before coming to Doha, Qatar. And I've seen them on, obviously, videos, whatever. TV, but I've never actually seen it with my eyes. So it's, they, has a, they have amazing food court there. They have, it's beautiful. And there's a, a new wing that just opened up when I got there. It was still kind of new when I got there. In fact, there was some still construction going on. Even at the garden, there was still some few things that were going on. And I think they do have um, Gordon Ramsay restaurants too, the pizza place. And, the street something i think they do beggars and stuff i'm not 100 percent sure i wanted to go in i looked at the the price and me being a businessman and me being a chef and understanding i was like is it really worth it <sighs> i don't know but i'm sure the food is amazing one day uh, one day when i'm loaded i'll go back and i'll actually taste the food and uh, but it was amazing um, amazing food court like i said um and so now i'm stuck for 18 hours after walking around and you gotta what else you do with 18 hours? Luckily in Doha, they understand that they made it, I think they make it, they make it strategically that you get stuck there. I think so. So they have what we call, what they call day tours. And so you got to pay, how much did I pay? I think it was around $30. I can't remember, $40 somewhere there. It was not that much really. And so 
I paid those few dollars and booked myself a tour. is um, you pay and they tell you what 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 time the tour will start Finally, we went to the market where we spent some time at the market. I wish I could have spent even more time because I wanted to look around and sit and enjoy the food. I wanted to experience the food, but I couldn't because I was like, I need to see. I thought I was going to eat something, but there was not enough time. And they did ask me at the airport that do I want to be left behind because I still have time and I'll come back with an Uber or something. But I was nervous. I have never been here. So I was like, nah. Uh, I'll come back with you guys. So anyway, I, I regret that decision, but I didn't know. Uh, next time when I go now, I know better. And that marketplace, it's, it's a beautiful place. It's amazing. And so we go there and there are vendors there. They, 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 even the top guy tells you that you're going to have to negotiate if you want to buy gifts or something, something there. It's like, that's how we are. It's just, it's nice. And he'll give you the range like where things should be. So it's like, be aware things should be here. So when you negotiate, just know, cause they'll try and negotiate. buy uh, food stalls, gift shops, gift things, and it was amazing. It looked beautiful. The people were amazing. People were actually very welcoming. It's like they were very nice. People were, I was not expecting that. I don't know why. I, 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 I feel bad for this, but it was amazing. And what else did I see there? And I go there and I remember there's this guy and so he was selling stuff. So, but I was taking video, recording myself, and I didn't want to put him in the video because I was like, hey, you know, people's privacy. But no, he was actually trying to get into the video. He actually wanted to be part of the video, he wanted to be included in the video. Uh, so that was very funny, that was very amazing. And I was like, ah, man, I was trying to avoid you. You actually want to be it. I didn't mind, I want him. It's just I, I respect people when I take video of myself um, in public spaces, you know. But he actually wanted to be in the video, wanted to be part of you, but it was amazing. And so I experienced that. Um, it was amazing. It looked beautiful. The weather was hot. And there's this area where they have an outdoor air conditioning. I forgot they call it what, but they say it's like Europe. Well, it, it's Qatar, but there are like Italian restaurants. They are... It's very beautiful. It's a very beautiful place. They say it's for people with money, but they have an outdoor uh, air conditioner. I've never seen that. Like it's like there's blowing like cool air. Like I've never seen that. It was mind blowing, and it was it was out of this world. I wanna visit Qatar now. I wanna do quad biking and those things. When I go back, I'm definitely going back to Qatar. I'm definitely going back, and it was amazing. And finally, um, I went back uh, with the tour. Let's take the stand to another level. I hold the game down, but I would never settle. Gemini to the instrumental. I got a lot heavy on my mental as I realize I am like all these other niggas. Get to loving these girls because they Instagram pictures. But one thing they forget to mention. 
Yo YouTube, please like my video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's more videos coming. Definitely there's more uh, videos coming. Also, subscribe to my Bevan Foodie um, channel. That's where you're going to get all the food stuff, the food tours, the making of the food. Uh, subscribe. I'll put the link somewhere. I'll put it somewhere and also in the descriptions. Like my videos, subscribe. Um, till next time.